Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be how to get instant dates and kisses from pretty girls. So I've got an email success story from a guy who shares, this is I guess from about two years ago, and he said it was really around the time that he really started to internalize what he was learning in 3% Man. So it's a really great short success story of an experience he had riding a train in New York City when this beautiful stranger came into the car and sat right down next to him. So we're going to see what happened and what he said to her and how he was making out with her within five minutes of meeting her, even though he had never seen her before. So I've got a quote that I wrote, and then we'll go through his email. And the quote says, Attraction is not a choice because Mother Nature takes care of romantic attraction. We know instantly if we are attracted to someone or not. Attraction cannot be created, only revealed. There are certain people who you are destined to meet. What's meant for you won't miss you. Sometimes these soul connections become great friends, great lovers, great business partners, Or sometimes they are in your life for only a short period of time and are never seen again, but they completely change the trajectory of your life and destiny. So let's go through his email. He says, hi, Corey. I was talking with a few people online and we were sharing our success stories of success we've had by following the principles in how to be a 3% man. This is the story I shared with them. I remember a moment when I first began internalizing the material and experience it work, experiencing it work firsthand. It shattered the boundaries of what I thought was possible and as a result changed my identity. I was on a phone session with a guy the other night and he was asking me because he was he was in a fearful place and he was wondering like when, when do you get to the other side? When do you get to the other side of doubting? all these things about yourself to where you feel good and you feel certain. And what I was explaining to him is that if you've got your previous life is filled up of memories and things that didn't go your way or didn't work out, and then you start applying what's in 3% man, which oftentimes is the opposite of what you've thought and done in the past, and then you start seeing things really work for you, like you're going to see in a second with this particular guy, These are those kinds of moments that kind of rewrite your identity, your personal story that you tell yourself of what's possible and what's not possible for you. And really, you're only limited by your imagination and the actions that you take or fail to take. But in this case, this guy took the actions when he recognized the signs that were there. Because you'll see, attraction is not a choice. This woman clearly was interested in him, put herself into his orbit, and he took advantage of the opportunity that the universe dropped right next to him so he could practice what he learned in 3% Man and have a great memory. This is this story here is the, these are the kinds of things when you get older and you're thinking back in your life, they make you smile because you went for what you wanted. You saw an opportunity and you took advantage of it. You seized the day. He says, I remember a moment when I first began internalizing the material and experiencing it work firsthand. It shattered the boundaries of what I thought was possible and as a result changed my identity. About two years ago, I was visiting family on the east coast of the United States. I had just spent the day walking around New York City and was taking the train back to my hotel in New Jersey. I stepped onto the train, walked up to the upper level and took a seat. There weren't many people in that particular train car. Suddenly, this very attractive, professionally dressed woman enters the train and begins walking down the aisle searching for a seat. Out of all the open seats she could have taken, she decided to sit down right next to me. Women who are interested, who are ready, willing, able, and open will sit down next to you if they feel safe and comfortable with your presence, if you're giving off that vibe that you're approachable, that you're happy, that you're having a good time. In other words, you're giving off good vibes so she feels safe. And obviously, in this case, she's definitely attracted to him. This is typically the lengths that most women are, are willing to go 
to let a guy know they're interested or to make it easy for him because women help you when they like you. And this is, could just as easily have taken place in a gym where you're working out on a piece of equipment. And I, I'm pretty sure anybody that's been to the gym before knows that some, some gyms, they have equipment that face each other. And you'd be working out on a, a piece of equipment and then a girl comes and sits in a piece of equipment in front of you. And so you're literally facing each other. That's a pretty obvious sign of interest because you can't help but look at each other and stare at each other when that happens. So when these things happen, you want to take advantage of them. He says, this was my first indicator that she liked me, obviously, when she sat down because there's lots of other open seats, but she chose to sit right next to him. He says, I start a brief conversation with her, telling her it's my first time exploring around New York City. I ask her questions about what she does in the city, where she's from, etc. Just basic questions. Just basic get to know you questions. Taking a sincere, authentic interest in the other person. We all love to talk about ourselves. And so he's asking her. She was being very receptive to me and we were both enjoying the conversation. I build rapport with her and then just flat out tell her I think she's attractive and I would love to take her on a date someday if I'm in the city again. She says she would love that and I get her phone number. I then give her a coy smile and ask, are you a good kisser? She instantly blushes and replies, I think so. Most women I've asked that too, they always say, well, yeah, of course. And then typically when they say that, the response is, prove it. I smile and say, why don't you come over here and show me? This is kind of, you know, you can just kind of imagine like when you're kids, you're little boy, little girl, and you're daring each other to do things. It's kind of like the same, now they're obviously they're all grown up, but it's kind of that same playful mentality because love is playful and fun. He's daring her to kiss this handsome stranger that she's met, who she obviously liked because she sat down next to him. She blushes even harder while looking all around her. What are people going to think? She says, there are people everywhere, she exclaims. I don't say anything. Ye who speaks first loses. Remember that. I talk about that in the book. So you just sit there and you smirk at her. Let her squirm a little. And you keep your same stoic James Bond smirk. Because you know she's going to kiss you. I just kept smiling and wait. And she hashes the idea out in her mind. About 15 seconds passed. Now, how many guys watching this would be able to sit there with a smirk on their face for 15 seconds as she's squirming? But these are amusing, beautiful things that happen in life. She then looks me in the eyes, gives me a smile and says, I can't believe I'm doing this. Gently leans into me and kisses me on the lips. We literally just met five minutes prior. Afterwards, she even asked me, where did you learn how to do this? I wonder. She even exclaimed, it feels just like in a movie. You've probably heard me say women want to be in a love story. And this, this sounds like something out of a movie. It's fate. But how many times does this happen to most people and they fumble the football and have no idea what to do? So the point being, he recognized she was into him because she sat next to him. So he starts a conversation, which it's easy to engage her in conversation because she sat next to him. She likes him. She's helping him. She's subtly signaling to him, hey, I'm open to you. And he says, hey, I think you should kiss me. And then she says, hmm, okay. And she kisses him. But this is how easy it can be. And this is why it's so much better to spend your time inviting women to join you who already like you, who are already into you. So if you do the work on yourself ahead of time by taking care of yourself getting in shape. Remember, it's like 74, 75% of all Americans are overweight or obese. And if you're relatively fit and in decent shape, you've just eliminated 75% of your competition. And you learn what's in 3% man and you apply it. These are the kinds of things you get to enjoy in life. So if you got a question or a challenge and you'd like to get my help, go to understandingrelationships.com, click the products tab at the top of your screen. 
and book a coaching session with yours truly. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.